If you ever had the exhilarating experience of watching professional darts on TV, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The excitement when you hear that 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 clunk and all of a sudden the announcer yells 180 and there's a number that they have to hit and they every time they, they shoot they, it sort of takes numbers off and they have to get to zero if I understand it correctly but the point is that when an amateur is playing darts I think they're just trying to shoot and hit the bullseye I think that's what everyone tries to do until you start to understand that the different areas of the board have different scores. So maybe you're focusing on something on an outer ring because of the math of it, because it's like a, set, a multiplier as you come into the middle or something like that. And it's interesting because if, if you don't know any better, you just try to get bullseye, bullseye being perfect. And the, the, no matter how many times you hit, you still might not, get to bullseye and then the ones around there maybe are not worth that much you're almost like because you missed the big home run you're getting nothing and i'm not to say that there's there's a ways that you're getting nothing i think if you're trying you're going to do you're going to do better if you're, then you're not trying but the whole point of what I'm, I'm speaking about is that there's a strategy to darts they're trying to get these points to be able to to score what they need to score and very often they're not trying to hit the bullseye first. They're focusing on these more, more valuable points because there's multipliers there. And they know that it's probably easier to hit this than to hit that. So when you're focusing on your plan, stop trying to target that middle of bullseye, that perfect plan. Sometimes it's just about hitting the right three or four things that makes such a difference for you, that help to bring that score where you need to bring it if you're playing darts. And then maybe when you come within striking range, that's when you go and hit that bullseye. Now, the scoring that I'm talking about is not exact, but the metaphor is there. You need to focus on the things that get you to the goal, the big things, the consistent things, and the things you know that you can hit. And then the on the opportunities that you can hit the bullseye, then go ahead and do so. But it's better to be good consistently than perfect one time and then continue to try until you hit it again three or four months down the road. Perfect gets in the way of good enough. And I'd rather you be consistent than perfect. Consistent rather than intent. So be like a professional dart player. Get strategic and hit the things you know are gonna have the biggest impact on your score rather than always trying to aim for the bullseye.